Hello and welcome to MIT USA. My name is Leo Valerio. Today I'm introducing to you a new Planisher concept that we have. Uh, in Planishing, it is customary for the operator to hold the part and orient it in, into the machine. In this particular case, we're actually design, we've designed a tabletop type of uh, planisher where you can actually see um, that you have the fingers like a seam welder and the fingers actually clamp onto the part and then the roller comes through and does the rolling of the, for the planishing function. On this particular case, we actually um, built it with, uh, with a loading arm and this loading arm is so that we can be able to put a large diameter tube on here and then be able to rotate it to orient the seam inside the, uh, the seam welder. I'll show you that, that in a minute. And then also we have a bridge right here and this bridge is because this particular uh, unit also uses a two and three quarter inch diameter mandrel. And the purpose of this is to be able to support the mandrel wherever you want so you can put more force into the roller. Uh, but, but that limits your, your length. In this particular case, we have 24 inches capacity, but um, depending where you place the bridge, you have less capacity uh, and depends also on the amount of force that you use. We have a table over here that shows you what the force is. You know, 10 PSI puts 1,500 pounds of force onto the roller, onto the part, and um, 30 puts 4,500 pounds, and so on and so forth, up to 100 PSI, which gives you 15,000 pounds of force. You can also see right here on the control where I can actually select the roller pressure, and right here, if I hit the roller, it activates the roller, and you can see the gauge down here, how the gauge goes to 50 PSI. I can change I can change the pressure, take it to 10 psi. And now you can see the gauge now is showing us 10 psi. The other um, thing is you know we can clamp the fingers. If you look at the screen here, you actually have your manual functions, which is your forward speed, your forward travel, and your reverse travel. The control shows you the mantle that you have in here. Right now it's alerting me that I have a 2.75 di inches diameter uh, mandrel. We also have part number, you know, right here, and it's in schedule one. We have 150 schedules. Here you can see that the, I can program the length of the part. The length in this particular case will change it to 20 inches. And the speed I want to run at is going to be, let's say it's 80, 80 inches per minute. And then the roller uh, pressure is going to be, I'll change that to 20. And then one cycle, I can, I can do various cycles, you know, whatever I want to program in here. And then I'll go ahead and edit the schedule and I'll store this. I'll save this in schedule number four. And I saved it, okay? So now I can exit this and now I'm ready to run that part. So this particular machine is set up right now with a small diameter mandrel so that it can be able to to take a three inch diameter part, or it can also take a large 42 inch diameter part. In this particular case, you see that it makes it easy for the operator to be able to load the part. And then when he sets up his seam, he can rotate it into position and then do the clamping and the cycling. What you do is you actually clamp with your right foot and then you cycle start with your left foot. It also has a safety light so that if I get in the way, it'll, if the operator should, should activate the light, it shuts it off. So anyway, that kind of shows you what we're doing and if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. Thank you.